Uh, I'm going to try to zoom in here as much as close as I can without it distorting this photograph because I want to look and analyze the man's ears in relationship to the size of his face and his hair, receding hairline, and his recessed eyes. He had very thick eyebrows. And his mouth, his, his lips are not really large lips, thick lips. They're, um, I wouldn't say thin, but uh, he has kind of high cheekbones. Yeah. And uh, dressed very uh, smartly, a full beard, and it looks to be a white hair and uh, certainly a white beard. And he's got uh, three buttons on his vest. And uh, there's a, buddy, you mentioned something a moment ago about a mason. Is that the mason's apron that he's wearing along with his Bible in his hand? Well, the more, more closely I look at it, I don't think it is, but the first similar. Okay. Now, I would assume that that's his pocket watch uh, with that, or is that something tied to the second button on his vest that's going over and, and fitting into his pocket? Have you got a, a watch or something? Uh-oh, he's going, unless he's going to go get something, I think. Oh, you're just coming to look at the picture. Okay, see, that looks like maybe a, a watch. Yeah, it looks like a watch. A pocket watch. watch. That is something like that. And then his hands. Um... Buddy, his hands are similar to your hands, hon, in that the fingers are, uh, look, hold your hands out here. Let me show you what I'm talking about. No, the, uh, the other side, Turn, flip your hand over and just relax your fingers. See, they're, they're straight. Your fingers are straight and they're not, uh, oh, what can I call them, uh, crooked. They're tapered, I guess would be the best way to say it. They're tapered fingers. And... Uh, this gentleman's fingers are somewhat like that too. That might be something that is running in the Mears family. Very tapered. See how his fingers are tapered? Okay, and then his shoes. got short and fat fingers. Yeah, okay. Well, <laughs> mine are short and stubby, so I, but I find things like that are interesting. That uh, And also his shoulders are not square shoulders as much as they slant down slightly. Maybe that's because of the collar that he has on. Uh, you can't see the collar for his beard. Now let's move over, and I'll take a still photo. First, Leslie, tell me who this is, please. Well, no, those those are painted. They're not photographs. Oh, they're oh, okay, they're portraits. They were rub off. Oh, pencil or what? What would you? I don't know. I don't know what they are. But they was given to me by Dennis' sister, Evelyn, about two or three months before she passed away. Evelyn Wilson now, right? Married her, ma her maiden name was... Uh, yeah. Her yes. married name was uh, Wilson. Yeah, she was Evelyn Wilson. And she gave me those photographs and she told me that she was told that they was pictures of Levin mirrors. Levin? Yeah, but I don't know that to be true. Levin mirrors? You're talking about Levin Mears was born in 1800 in Bladen County, North Carolina, Dobbs County? That's the one I'm talking about. Oh my goodness. Huh. Well, he's got the, the eyes that recede back. I call them recessed, slightly recessed well, eyes. Look at and he looks like a preacher for sure. He's got his well, Bible in his well, hand. You, you look at his eyes, mm -hmm. and you look at my dad's eyes, they do resemble. Well, I'm going to show you a picture in just a minute that might say that this is absolutely the truth. Okay, now, I wonder who this lady might be. Do that you have any idea? Wife. Which one, though? Because he had several. The, I, I, I believe that that was his last wife. Oh, that might... Uh, that could be Lydia was her name. Lydia, uh, Lydia Durden. But I don't know. Wasn't she the one that... Uh, uh, she was living down here in Florida because there is a census record that shows her as a widowed lady with two children living in her, residing in her home. And uh, evidently, you said she was, I think you told me, do, do not, that she was living down here. Tell me that story about she was living here and stayed here when Levin went up to preach in uh, Troy, well, Alabama. Well, I was told by some of the people at the reunion that she originally went to Troy, Alabama when he was sent up there to be a preacher. But 
but he had he had already retired as a preacher. They needed somebody to fill in until they could get a full time preacher. And he passed away in Troy, Alabama. Do we know what church? Do we have any idea? Well, I was told that it was a Methodist church, and I have a plan and never followed through with my plans to go to Troy and see if I could find his grave. Oh, that would be awesome. I hadn't done it. But when he passed away, she moved back to Cyprus where they had a home. And uh, she, I guess, lived out the rest of her life around Cyprus. But she had him buried there at the church cemetery, you're saying? The people that I was talking to was from the Cyprus area and they was related like we are to Levin. Uh -huh. And they told me the story about him going to to Troy and dying in Troy and she came back and lived out her rest of her life around Cyprus. Uh -huh. I think she, yeah, okay. Now let's analyze her photograph really well. I'll take a still picture of it in just a minute, but for the moment, let's see if I can get here where I don't get a glare on it. Uh, let's see, it's gonna be kind of hard to... Okay. Here we go, maybe that does better. Get my little glare there. Okay, now that's better. Okay, and she has a very slicked back, thin hair, and um, uh, her ears are nicely set. Her eyes look like she might have had blue eyes. Do you agree with that, Leslie? That her eyes might be it might have been blue. I really. They're light. See, they're light colored. I really don't know, but she's got thin hair. Thin hair and thin like lips. A, a lot of the mirrors had. Now she's holding on to a book. Would you presume that to be the Bible? I don't know. It, to me, it looks. I just don't have any idea. I'm getting a bad glare on but, that. But those are not photographs. They're uh, charcoal painted. And she's seated in a chair. But to be honest with you, I can't tell if it's the same I chair think it's that. Probably a chair like he sees in, but he's got that coat. And he's but uh, they had to sit for somebody to draw those pictures. Interesting. This tells me, and I might be reading between the lines here, but if I am, that's okay. It's uh, what's called, uh, um, there's a, a lady that was on Ancestry.com that made the comment. She says, um, we spend our time digging up um, history about people because we learn from that. But it would seem to me like that Levin was a pretty well known, if this in fact turns out to be a photo of Levin, and uh, somewhere, somehow, somebody can document again that it is, somebody else might have a same photo. In other words, they might have a copy of this same, same um, photo. And if that's the case, then that two people having the same information usually is, uh, uh, substantiates the information. Does that make sense? Well, the only way there would be two photos if they took these to somebody and had a copy made. Yeah, tin type in those days, I guess, would be. Those was hand drawn. You can, uh, we've been careful with them because the, the smut or whatever they use to start with uh -huh. will rub off on your fingers. Fingers, okay. Now, I would think, and I'm, I'm reading between the lines here again, but I would think because uh, the youngest child of Henry Sidney's was your grandfather, correct? Yes. Okay. And Evelyn was the youngest, if or next to the youngest she child. Was the youngest. She was the youngest. Many times it's the younger children that end up listening to all this all their lives, and they are the ones who end up being the keepers of the uh, history and the photographs and all, rather than the oldest child. The girl ends up being the one who gets it. Gets the... Well, Edna was